Ooh, what's up guys and of course welcome to another video talkative video with me the scarander and today we're actually gonna talk about something that has been resonating for me for quite some time and uh, it's not a lifted subject but it comes to the competition between for alligator and Jarados. now for you guys who might not have played generation 2 and onwards you will not probably get this as well as the other one will, but um, I think most people will acknowledge that for Alligator were probably one of the worst generations yeah, starters introduced since it shared so many things with for Alligator or with Yardos, uh, but being a bit weaker, and um, that really stood out on it that it, it has always been weaker than Yardos for quite some time actually. Um, but that thing has kind of changed, and I decided to actually make it on just a stat comparison between these guys it's for you guys to get the chance or um, acknowledge the, the, what they actually share in common. Um, as you see there, guys, is at 85 in base um, um, HP, 105 in attack, 100 in the defenses, 79 in um, the special attack, 83 in um, special defense and of course 78 in speed now look into Jarados. Jarados has 10 more in defenses or in HP and uh, 20 more in attack uh, 20 less roughly in defenses special attack don't really mind that uh, defenses is 20 higher and the speed is 4 to 5 points higher uh, but this year the thing that is that once Share Force was introduced, it actually got a bit weird because it was kind of hard to uh, to decide between these two guys who had the most defenses. And um, looking into it now, I say yes. Um, I, I meant attack. <laughs> but looking into it now, it's actually very different because they share so many things. They both have access to crunch, they both can pull waterfall. They have both access to ice hits. Uh, the only thing that separates it is, of course, that Feraligator got a few fighting moves in his backside. Uh, they both have access to Earthquake, for example. And I do believe that Jarros has Bounce. And it has the Flying Typing attached to it. Now, Flying Typing is good. Um, but it also leaves it open for uh, other types of weaknesses. And, of course, Lightning kills it. But uh, the thing is that... Gyarados got a Mega Evolution, and um, once that hit off, Gyarados got way, way bigger uh, than it actually were from the beginning. And uh, once Feraligator got access to the Share Force ability, it actually never really got brought up, and it definitely didn't raise. Uh, without uh, a potential Mega Evolution, Feraligator is probably going to stay in UU. But the thing I want to reach on is, like I said, how much these guys really have in common. Um, because they really do, and being in a matchup, of course, with the both access to Dragon Dance, yes, they even share Dragon Dance, which is something that is, well, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it's it's pretty cool. It's it's definitely it's very very bonding. Um, you kind of realize that while well, if Jaros has the what do you call it, the Intimidation set, the Bulker set, then it will win against the Feraligator. But it really is the other way around, um, because of the sheer force, um, Free Alligator hurts so much more, uh, is much more destructive, and it can be much more destructive with special moves, which actually, with even though 7 to 9 in special attack is not the biggest, it is still huge in the likes of a 30% boost to that. Uh, of course, 105 attack is much more, much more sexier, as one would say. Um, than, um, than the special attack. Uh, we're actually going to look through their movesets just a little bit to get get a feel for it. Um, oh yeah, we also have access to superpower, I guess that's a thing. Um, but like I said... Oh, sorry for Jordy. Hmm. You know, access to crunch, slash even. I uh, don't think that applies with share force. Uh, it has a dragon claw, earthquake, brick break, rock tomb. Focus Blast, Shadow Claw, uh, Sword Stance even, that's actually kind of intimidating. Uh, Rock Slide, which is a move I forgot. And um, 
it learns even Asian power or quadjet to actually out-prioritize. Ice Punch which is the natural stronger move. So it has a few moves up its sleeve. Um, very, very versatile. Only two weaknesses being aggressive and electric. And looking to Jardos, we have a lot more weaknesses to work around. Or actually not a lot more, just a few to watch out for. With the force being the lightning and rocks. I do believe that's the only weaknesses. So like I said, it's not a lot more but it's something to watch out for and of course being weak to stealth frogs is never nice but it does have moxie now moxie is a big deal actually but it's not as big of a deal as sheer force um, and um, hmm. I guess we could give Jardos a perk of learning Thunderbolt and fl actually flamethrower I had no idea uh, <laughs> actually I didn't but yeah it doesn't have a much broader move pool. It actually is a bit less and actually is underwhelming. Uh, though what it does do, it does well. But um, yeah, the thing that makes it stand out is Dragon Dance in conjunction with a high attack set of 125. But I think if these guys have to compete against one another again, I think Fralliot would come out on top. But like I said, due to the Mega Evolution, um, Jaro's got a whole lot tougher and a whole lot dangerous um, and that was really what separated these two guys because now Jaros got actually just as defensive if not a bit more than um, for Alligator and um, I still will um, I still will mention that I truly believe for Alligator and Jaros is an even match uh, today they are an even match from Generation 2, there were not, there were a lot of things that were issued with Raliator. So it's really cool to see it all coming together. And I know most people actually like to com uh, compare Jardos with uh, Milotic. But for me, it always has been against Raliator, against Jardos. And who is the true Dragon Dancer? And the true Dragon Water Pokemon that isn't a uh, Dragon. <laughs> Raliator might be a more of an alligator, I guess. But you, you get my drift. They have been for the longest time, really, for me, um, in a steep competition. And I truly believe Alligator didn't get the chance to show what it was all about. And today we have a situation where Alligator might just be as strong as Jaros, but the comparison will rarely be there anymore. Uh, and that will be actually the end of this video. I really want to hear your thoughts about this. Uh, you, you don't necessarily have to agree with me. Uh, I do get that most people will probably mention that Jaros is better due to Intimidation Mox and being more versatile, and I will agree on that, I will. Uh, but I also will mention that Feraligator with Share Force made a big difference for Feraligator on its own. Um, it is actually incredible how a little shift like that could make all the difference for a Pokémon, and I really feel that. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, leave your thoughts, like I said, down below. And I'll respond to it as fast as I can. So, thank you for watching, guys. And take care, as always. Bye.